Hello friends, so in this video we are going to talk about 3D analysis of square plate with hole. We are going to see the how to set convergence criteria and how it affects to your result. So let's get started. Open ANSYS workbench, go to the static structure, click on uh, engineering data. So here you can see the uh, material, you can see the Young's modulus, you can edit this, you can edit this poisons ratio as well. Once it is over, you can close this engine data, go to the geometry. I'm choosing XY plane and uh, my setting my units as millimeter. Then we'll go to the sketching and first I'll draw a rectangle. I'll set your dimensions. So horizontal length is 100 mm, vertical length is also 100 mm. Let me fit this. Now I'll draw the circle. Then I'll give the dimensions of the circle. So diameter of the circle is 20 mm. I'm going to extrude this. Thickness is 10 mm. So that's my plate. Okay, once the geometry is open in the model, First, set the units. So, in the home section, go to the units and set your units. Then, you can uh, set the material for the solid body. You can assign that material. So, in my case, it is right. a structure shape. You can assign another, another material as well. Then, go to the mesh and right click on the mesh and generate the mesh. So, these are my number of nodes and these are my, these are my elements. Then, uh, Right click on the static structure, insert fixed support, I am adding this fixed support on this face, again right click on the static structure and go to the force, so I am going to add the force on this face. So my X component is 100 Newton, Y component, Z component are 0. So these are my bounty conditions. Now right click uh, on the solution, insert deformation that is directional deformation and insert stress that is equivalent stress. <coughs> now this is my mesh structure, this feels like uh, it is little bit coarse. Uh, now you can set the convergence criteria. Convergence criteria you can set for any of the solution. I am setting the convergence criteria for equivalent stress. So right click on the equivalent stress, click on go to the insert and click on convergence. Here you have to set uh, the allowable change in percentage. So that means how, how much change in percentage you want between the two successive iterations. So I am putting 20%. So between the two successive iterations, if my change in uh, equivalent stress is less than 20%, then my solution is converged. Otherwise, the solution will go on running. So for that, I have to define the loops also. In the solution, you can set the loops. So here you can set maximum 10 loops. So I am going to set six loops. Now right click on the solution and click on solve. You can check your convergence also. So this is my first iteration. So after the first iteration, these are my results. Like maximum equivalent stress is this one. And these are my number of nodes and elements. This is my second iteration. For second iteration, I got percentage change is minus 6.88%, which is less than 20%. So my uh, solution is converged now. Now uh, we have given six loops. 
but the solution is converge in the second loop only so uh, ancestors will not go to third loop since it is converge now for this converge loop uh, these are my number of nodes and these are my elements now you can see the mesh structure is changed and that uh, structure also you can see so this is my mesh structure you can see the animation you can see the 2d view also so this is my mesh structure and these are my stress values in terms of megapascal now you can uh, set the another convergence criteria also so like i'll, I'll pull, click on this convergence and i want to change this so for that first you need to clear the data now for that just right click on the solution click on clear generated data and then you can set the convergence criteria otherwise uh, ansys will uh, go on considering the previous value and it will go on converging that value we don't want that changing the convergence criteria as 5% now right click on the solution click on solve so this is my first iteration these are my elements these are my nodes and this is my maximum equivalent stress value now this is my second iteration you can see so for the second iteration my percentage change is minus 6.88 percent so the ansys uh, will run third iteration as well because our convergence criteria is less than five percent now you can see in the third iteration it is 3.54 so it is less uh, than five percent so the loops will be stopped and this is my converge solution now uh, suppose uh, we have given the less number of loops now what what it will happen so that also you will check so just right click on this solution clear generated data in the convergence i am putting a few percent and in the solution i will reduce the number of loops like i will keep the number of loops as 2 per 2 let's uh, let's check this right click on the solution click on solve as i have given maximum two loops only so that's why uh, this is my uh, final solution since it is not converged that's why you can see one error mark is there and here also you can see one highlighted error mark is there in front of solution as well as in front of convergence so it tells that convergence has not done yet so we can increase the number of loops again we can uh, click on solve but remember one thing always click on clear generated data and then uh, click on solve okay these are my values after the my solution is converged so you can observe these values now uh, there may be some problem of singularity whenever point load is there or sharp edges is there in that case singularity error may comes into the picture in that case uh, you can observe that the equivalent stresses maximum equivalent stress goes on increasing this is happen because in case of singularity the element size goes on decreasing and at the point the value of stress is very high so you can observe that thing by checking this equivalent stress is if your equivalent stress goes on increasing tremendously then you can say that the singularity error is there singularity error you can uh, remove uh, by considering fillets instead of sharp edges or uh, apply udl instead of point load so now let's check the analytical solution so for this uh, case this is my maximum equivalent stress that you can observe so now let's check analytical solution so this is my analytical solution you can observe uh, so by using the analytical solution this is my maximum stress and by using simulation this is my maximum stress so you can compare these two values so that's all please like this video comment on it and subscribe to the channel also press bell icon thank you